bleeding control. Lots of products on the market out there for this, and I'm going to talk to you about one of them today on TacMed TV. Hello, and welcome to TacMed TV. My name is Steve. Bleeding control. It's something I want to talk to you about today. More specifically, uh, one of the products. Now, there's a ton of products out there on the market uh, for bleeding control, but the one I want to talk to you about today is the emergency bandage. It's also known as the Israeli battle dressing, and it's a two-in-one or all-in-one bandage. It has the dressing on the bandage, and it's all one one thing. It's it's contained in one little piece of equipment. You don't have to carry uh, four by fours and gauze anymore. You can carry one thing. Uh, it comes in two sizes. It comes in a four inch and a six inch. I happen to have a six inch opened up because uh, this is the one I want to show you guys <clears throat> and let you all get a look at the, the dressing and the bandage. Okay, Dressing and the bandage are one. The dressing is this pad right here and it's sewn into the bandage. The bandage is, is the stretchy part. The reason it's stretchy, it's kind of like an ace wrap or an ace bandage and it helps add a little bit more pressure when you are wrapping the wound. Okay. Another little thing that this has is this pressure bar. Uh, when you're wrapping the wound, you'll run the gauze or the material, the bandage material through here and then pull it back on itself and it adds a little bit more pressure to the wound to help stop the bleeding. Now the other thing that I really like about this product is it has this loop right here. And if you um, are an outdoor person or your law enforcement, fire, uh, EMS, any type of first responder, uh, this is something good to have in your kit. And the reason this is here is because it can be put on one-handed, and that's why it's good to have in your kit. If you get hurt and you're the only one uh, there that can render aid, well, then you need something like this. And so what you do, let's say I've got a wound on my arm and I need to put this on here. Well, you put it on here, get it lined up, say the wound's on the inside of my arm, take the bandage part, or the uh, dressing part, place it over the wound <clears throat> as best you can, and then you just start wrapping, okay? And you wrap. Now, at some point, after you can make sure you pull the, the, the uh, bandage tight with each time because it is stretchy, now, what you can do is, once you get that in there, you can now take the bandage and you can run it through. I'm going to try to get this in here where you can see it. Run it through that little hole, get the bandage in here, all right, it's in, and then you just pull it back on itself. And it adds another, just a little bit more pressure to the wound to help stop the bleeding, okay? Now when you get to the end of it, you've got this little bar here, and that's what you use. It's double double sided, it's got two ends on it. Kind of pry that open a little bit. Take it and lock it in, and lock it down. And then your bandage is in place, okay? Bleeding's gonna be controlled, and this works absolutely fabulous. This will hold in place for as long as you need it to, till you can get to definitive care. Now. With that being said, I've talked to you about how to apply the bandage, but I haven't talked to you about when to apply the bandage. Okay, and the reason being is that I'm of the mindset that everyone needs to take a first aid course. Okay, <clears throat> if you're wondering where you can take one, Start with your American Red Cross chapter, uh, your local chapter. They can point you in a direction. They do first aid classes. If uh, you don't have a local first aid chapter, uh, go to your local ambulance service, the EMS. You know, Talk to the EMTs and the paramedics. They can point you in a direction uh, to get you into a good first aid program. And the reason that that's so important is that that is a training. That is, th those are skills that you will learn that will pay dividends in the future. If you are ever faced with a situation where you have to take care of somebody that is sick or injured okay especially if you're an outdoors type person where you're you know you're rock climbing or you're rappelling or you're fishing or you're canoeing you're kayaking uh, boating uh, hiking whatever it doesn't matter 
this is a skill set that you need to learn to carry with you. And as far as that goes, once you learn how to use the skills that you will learn in, in first aid, then you start putting together a first aid kit. And then this is one of those things that needs to go in your first aid kit. Now, the, uh, the emergency bandage is by no means the only bandage on the market that is an all-in-one or two-in-one, however you want to call it. There are other thing, or excuse me, other things, other products out there on the market. And as soon as I get my hands on them, I'll do a video about them. Uh, but please, uh, if you like what you're seeing, if you are interested in what uh, this channel is going to bring you, think about you know hitting the subscribe button and hitting the notifications, and you'll know when a new video is coming out. Uh, I'm going to be doing some videos in the future on course more bandaging um, you know more bleeding control stuff we're going to do tourniquets I'm going to talk about building a uh, first aid kit for your home for your car <clears throat> and so if you would uh, hit the like button if you liked what you saw today and I appreciate it and I'll see you in the future take care and be safe